AliExpress anime figures, ranging from $5 to $10. Not too long ago, I put up a poll and news requested that I get some more anime figures from AliExpress. I ordered eight in total, but only five had turned up. Now though, the other three have turned up and they're all from a series called One Piece. A series I'm sure everyone out there who's an anime fan knows and loves. So we'll go over and we'll unbox these three figures and see if they're any good or see if they're absolutely terrible. Of course, that's all in the fun of ordering from places like AliExpress. So let's get straight into it. But this is absolutely insane. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. I'll put the prices on screen here or here so you can see how much I actually paid for these figures. And the first one we have here is Monkey D. Luffy. And this is his gear five. He is definitely more of a smaller figure here, but we'll put him fully together and we'll see how he looks overall. Where was that meant to be? I think that's gonna be in his hand, isn't it? And then the stick goes up his butt, up his butt. They do put these in weird positions. So there we have Monkey D. Luffy in his gear five. Now taking closer inspection of this, the face is not ideal, it's not the greatest. Uh, these normally never are, but I think it's definitely passable. You've got the detail on his chest of his scar, but if you take a slightly closer look uh, where the paint is and the scar itself, it doesn't quite line. Just on the far left here, the scar on the body and the paint, it's just a little bit off. Going closer in, these kind of bits aren't actually too bad. They are very rubbery, but at least they're a bit more malleable and they're not going to really break unless you try to like really cut them. So that's a that's an upside to them. You've got a lot of detail here on his trousers, on his top. And of course, he's still got his hat there at the back. The hair is not too bad, as well as on his sandals. These are not great. One thing I will say to add to the effect of this, having this acrylic kind of blue base to match in with his ability and stuff like that, is a lot nicer than having it just as say normal clear over a black base. So that is a nice added touch. What do you think of Luffy in Gear 5? I think he's looking okay. I think he's looking okay. Let's just put him there. You can just hang tight there. Just lie that little bit on you there. We're just going to interrupt this video for one second because of a comment I got from Chocolate Rosabelle who makes a very fair point. I'll put the comment up on screen here. And what they mention is that when you're buying figures like this from AliExpress, Wish.com or even stuff like Timu, do definitely check the reviews. If you have a look at them, which I put on screen as well here, you can see in the reviews, you normally get lucky where people actually post up photos. So you'll get an idea of exactly how these figures are going to look before you purchase them. Thank you very much, Chocolate Rosabelle, for your comment. It has been much appreciated. Now back to the video. So next we go up to the middle sized one. Well, I think once it's put together, it might look slightly bigger than the last one, but you'll see why I'm holding on that one till the very last. So as you can see here, this is actually quite a size. We have Shanks and we have Luffy as a kid. He's got a little bit of weight to him there, Shanks. Have a little nap there, Shanks. Absolutely huge base. We're going to have to do some pulling apart there of Luffy's leg. Ooh, there's a little click there. I think that I've got to be careful of the glue of that coming out because that clicked a little bit. And it looks like it's gonna be the same for Shanks. I'm gonna to have to move them apart a little bit. So there we have Luffy and Shanks. And it does, it is quite nice as well because it does have the names right on here. I know they're going for the size difference as well, but Shanks look huge, a lot bigger than I actually recall them. And I think, ah, I've just noticed something key here. The way they look and the way the pose is, what is meant to be happening is this, is that. But I can't really leave go of that because his hand's coming out. I'm going to take a closer look now of some of the details in this and see how well it looks. Shank's face overall is not too bad. His Gordian beard kind of thing is a little bit fine. Um, could have been a bit better. What I will say as well, if we can see in between here, you can actually see that Shanks has got the half arm with the um, his shirt kind of rolled around it. That is a nice touch, even for a bootleg figure. That's something they could have easily missed out and just left. Just left that arm fully off, but they haven't, which is nice. Detail, paint job is not great on certain parts here, but then you go over the Luffy as well. Few more lines few little bits of the paint being out. Underneath, I take Luffy off. Underneath, you can see his face is actually fully there. So they actually have got the full face under there. There's nothing kind of really hidden. His eyes are there, his cry and his tears, all that is there. The anchor transfer, pretty much spot on. Can't really complain about that. Still got bits of nice details, excuse me, in the straw hat itself. I think he and that is one 
It is definitely the biggest one I have ever got from AliExpress. And yes, it doesn't quite fit together perfectly. The molds are a little bit tight. You can stretch them and that click makes me feel like I do it too much, they will fall apart. It's still pretty awesome. We've been getting some decent little hauls from AliExpress lately. Some of these have really started up the game, some haven't. Like Power, if you saw that in this video here. She definitely did not. That was definitely off. Definitely a bit creepy. So now we go over to the very final one. This was the one when I saw and I saw the price. I couldn't believe it. And I thought, no, oh, it's not going to be like this. There's going to be a lot of detail missing. Uh, there's going to be mold. It's going to be really bad. Especially when they're showing it, it was going to be a, quite an extravagant figure. Uh, I think it's definitely taken from a scale. From what I could see in some of the images, it definitely like it was taken from a scale figure, which is going to be much, much taller. This is definitely heavier than that than the uh, Luffy one and Shanks. And just from something like this straight away, you might take a guess which character it actually is. And here we have Zoro. We have to get all the different bits on him there, all the swords on, in his hands, and figure out exactly where some of these, like parts of his ability and like the auras and that go. First impressions. Pretty impressed. I don't know if I could call the camera, but they went everywhere. <laughs> one of 10,000 swords. Two of 10,000 swords. All right, this one's got a little catch there on it there, so it looks like it's going to be going into something. I guess it's going to be to put directly into the sword holder like that. I don't think so. Ah, uh, it's got to be the one in his mouth. Has to be. That makes more sense, having it in his mouth, because you know what he's like. There's another one there, which for could be for his mouth. Actually, can it go into this one as well? Ah, it can. And as well as that one, I wonder, are these all, I think each one of these is actually to go over the sword. I can't pull up the image of the one I'm using both the camera and my phone at the moment, so I can't quite double check. All right, there we have it. That took a little while to set him up there. I'm not entirely sure if I've got it fully correct. I'll put the image up on screen here of the list in itself to see how close I got it. But this is absolutely insane so the base itself looks really cool the plastic on the on this section is actually really nice it's a solid plastic it's molded really well for what it is the dry brushing on the rocks at the bottom fairly cool really nicely done it's very similar to the dragon ball one from the previous video of the over five we got the base and that is really nice though the detail on like the auras and that around his sword aren't great uh, these are very flimsy and very badly molded, but for the price of this, I'm sure you will agree that this is pretty damn good for that price. The ones that go into the mouth are a little bit harder, one of them doesn't fully go in, which is not surprising for the size of this and for the detail and right, the fact that it is a bootleg figure. But he's got his three scabbards there as well. The detail in his face, there is actually detail there. There is a little bit of transfer in the faces as well for the eyes and stuff like that. So that is there, even though it's minute and tiny. At least they went to the lengths to put that in there. Paint job, fairly straightforward, fairly nice. The swords are all slightly different, which is good. The colours on them are nice and crisp, though they are a little bit over and out in places. This is... I am shocked. I was looking at the image... I know, I've just knocked that one off. I can just go on the side for now. When I looked at the image of this and the price, I was absolutely got to say, no way this is going to be any kind of even fairly decent, let alone pretty decent. I am shocked. This, this has been a good, this, this has been another decent haul from AliExpress. But what do you think? Do you think this has been a good haul, especially for the prices that I paid for these, these bootlegs and fakes? I can see the ramping up loads. Anime is getting massive, masses of more followers every single year it's getting bigger and bigger as it goes more and more worldwide so of course more of these are going to come out i don't have any scale figures and i doubt there'll even be like a prize figure I might, there might be there might be like a koji prize figure of this and i think that would be absolutely amazing to get based on this and i think anyone who actually gets the scale version of this which i think that's what it is based on is going to be absolutely loving it this is insane, this is crazy, this is awesome, and this is Twisted Geek. If you've liked this video and liked this content, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification so you can be updated for future videos like Awesome Hauls from AliExpress. My name's been Daniel, this has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.